Hi, I'm going to show you how to create palettes, new palettes in Color Pro. Press new palette here, enter a new name, some description. Here you can specify the number of uh, chips this palette will have, let's say 30. And here you can specify the number of chips per row which will be displayed here in the edit palette tab let's say um, 5 um, the folder pass is the actual folder where uh, this palette file will be stored you can leave this empty it will be automatically filled by color pro then press accept and you see there are 30 chips and uh, 1 2 3 4 5 per row. You can change the number of chips per row using this let's say to 6 or to 1 you can uh, you usually want to set it to 1 when you are working with this layout here and you want to set it to more when you are working with this layout okay um, you can uh, hover any chip and you basically see it over here its information or you can select it and you see it still over here uh, you can change the shape the size, let's talk about the size first you can change the size like this okay or you can change the shape so it's an ellipse now let's put it a rectangle rhombus, honeycomb, honeycomb 1, honeycomb 2 let's leave it to ellipse you can also drag the chips let's apply a bigger width okay um, you can drag them like this you can get more space like this okay uh, let's put it in the color selection layout one per row this will allow us to have more space for actually selecting colors first of all we have to check this one here, it's actually checked already this will um, allow us to not worry about selecting the color chip on which we want to put the color if it is unchecked and we select a color here and then select another color it will be still on that chip but if we press this then uh, we select the color here the next color we will select will be here that is uh, that's what this selection frenzy does um, okay this is how you select color using the RGB HSV color picker this one actually has six modes saturation as you can see here brightness I already showed you the hue red green and blue Okay, these are uh, direct links to copying the color to clipboard, all of this here. Here below uh, basically each color picker has this color spaces section in which you can see the three color spaces, SMYK, HSL, YUV. Uh, here in the right section you can see the color history, basically every color you've selected appears here you can delete it by doing so I say no for now um, yeah you can uh, add the chip so automatically adds it here let's see how you can uh, select uh, a color with the sliders basically um, it has three modes sliders button double click if I click sliders and I press look what happens but if I click button then I can safely select the color and then say get color or double click will work like this S okay uh, then we have the wheel color picker basically it's like this but here you have to press the get color button and we can select color complements here you have the wheel picker at the bottom and here you have the color complements for each 
color basically for yellow we have this for green we have this for red we have this this is red okay um, then we can also modify the palettes here uh, we have uh, RGB, SMYK, HSV and filters basically the sliders you can add red, add green, subtract red, green or subtract uh, hue, saturation, value, cyan, magenta, yellow, add or subtract and you can also have uh, filters basically let's say we have this palette here and you want to apply, let's apply sepia to it, we select that we want to apply the filter on the entire palette and press 1 and the uh, entire palette was filtered using sepia, let's say grayscale now and everything is set to grayscale okay um, what I want to show you next is how to edit these values here basically in the settings section we have uh, these two settings when palette is rendered as RGB always show color edit color basically is what we have here let's say we want to show the name and edit the color okay see there is no name but there is a color so we edit the color uh, then uh, we can have uh, edit the name show the color so we basically double click to edit we edit the name my color if we do like this then we'll see my color but edit the code we can also have uh, palette being rendered as hex as hex and we do this by changing the palette render mode like this see these are the hex the hex colors hex codes uh, we can also edit them uh, same thing happens here so uh, I can select that I want to show the name and edit the color basically look what happens here now I get the hex colors but see the name or I can edit the name and see the colors see now I can edit the name and once I'm done with the palette I can say press this one here save palette and we will be brought here palette name I can then delete it from here and double click and it will appear here again set it on the layout I like and can play with it furthermore